education is our subject for today. If you go through the channel, you know that we have classes on civic education. That's, those classes you see there are for senior secondary. We are starting our junior secondary classes on civic education. And civic education have been introduced into the Nigerian educational system for some years now. And it runs from SS1 to SS3 to show that there is something very urgent, very important that students need to learn from the subject. So for my JS1 classes, you are welcome to our civic education class for today. Everyone can benefit. One thing about this subject is you're going to carry them over. What you learn in JS1, you can meet it in SS1, you can meet it in SX3, you can meet it in uh, meet such courses in JS2. So be very attentive because they are procedure of learning. They are carry over knowledge from one class to another. This knowledge is going to help you in JS2, it's going to help you in JS3, down to SS3. So please pay particular attention from your junior secondary. Always carry over what you learn to the next level. What is civic education? Today we are going to cover what civic education is, then the norms and morals to make a society work better. What can you and I do to make our society better? That is the two areas we will cover in our class for today. But first, let's take what is civic education. As you can see, I wrote a little uh, note on what civic education is. I said that it's a kind of subject that provides students with knowledge and understanding of their responsibility as a citizen. Let's stop there and explain. Civic education exposes, exposes you to your society. What is it that the society expects from you? What is it that is expected from you as a citizen of a particular country? That is what uh, civic education exposes you to. How will you become a good citizen to your country? What are the rights that you possess as a citizen of a particular country? What do you need to do? What attitude? What moral value can you add to better your society? How can the society be a better place for growth? What can you contribute to make the society a better place? That is what civic education is. All of us want a better country. All of us want a better place to live in. But it is not, it can't just come by chance. Work is required, effort is required. How can we make this possible? That is why this subject is for all of us. How do we make our environment, our country, our state, our culture be a better place for all of us to enjoy? And then, I have explained the first part of civic education. Now let's go further. I probably said that it is a study of how man can become a good person to the society he or she belongs to. It is equally a study that imparts skills that we need for effective participation in the community, in the government, and in politics. So it means that civic education goes further to explain how do we take part in politics? How do we take part in governance? How would government, uh, how, how does government affect our well-being? How can we be part of the political group that make our country better? This and many more is what civic education implies. Let's try to break it down. We all belong to the society. We equally impart our society. It's either by the skills we possess, the knowledge we possess, our participation in our environment, 
our contribution in the environment, what we do to better it, what we don't need to do to make it work. Because as we go further in this class, we want to see, we will see our fundamental human right as a person that lives in a particular state. What is your right? And what, how is your right limited at some point in time? Civic education will teach us all of this. So it's a very good course for us because it will tell us skills we need to learn, moral behaviors we need to put up, fundamental human rights we possess, what are the morals that are required, how do we influence our society, how does the society influence us, how do we make our environment a better place, how do we make our country a living place, and how do we participate in politics to make things work better. That is what civic education is. So having known what civic education is and what we are going to meet in this course of study, we will take the next point, norms and morals to make a society work. We atomize it and we will see how we explain it and see how we understand ways we can fit into this to better our communities, our society and our country. So we have explained or defined what civic education is. Now we want to see dance and morals to make a society work better. What are some of the norms and morals that will make a society to work better? We have a number of them here. Though the list is not exhaustive, but we are going to take these ones. Values. Obligation to the society. Relationship with the law of the land, or the law of the society, or the law of the nation. Voters' information. Contribution to national growth. Individual differences, cultural differences and religious differences, patriotism and philanthropy, well-behaved citizens, and self-reliance. Let's take them one after the other. What is value as it relates to norms and value to better a society? Value is the act of good or bad. What is that good thing I can do to add to the betterment of the society? Or what is it that I will do to destabilize the society? Values. Which value system are you bringing in? Which value system are you going to put into the betterment of the society? So that is one of the things that makes a society better. Putting in good values obligation to the society. Every citizen have his own obligation to his society. What are your obligations to the society? Will you keep laws? Will you abide by the law of the land? Will you be a good citizen? Will you maintain your fundamental human rights? All of these are obligations to the society. What skill, what knowledge can you bring in to bring betterment to the nation, to the community, and to you as an individual. Relationship with the law of the land or the society. Every nation without a law break down. So law is that which helps members of the society to function effectively, to know the bo their boundaries. Are you acting within the borders of the uh, the societal law. If you go beyond it, that means you are not bringing law and order. You are not bringing good moral to bring in better society. That is for relationship with the law. So always be a good law-abiding citizen. That will make a better society. That will make a better country. That will make a better community. Then the next one is voters' information. Who are you going to vote for? Who is eligible to be voted for? Who can vote? What restricts your uh, voters' rights? How do you conduct yourself during a voting exercise? All of these are information 
you have to abide by if you have to bring in good moral or good norms to the society. Now we'll go to the next one. Then the next one has to do with contribution to national growth. What can you bring in to make a difference? National growth. It can be your skill, it can be your knowledge, it can be your behavior, it can be how you present yourself. What can bring about national growth? What can you do to bring about national growth? In area of finance, economic growth, knowledge growth, and all the other areas you know that can better the society. The next one is individual differences, cultural differences and religious differences. If you know that I'm not you and you are not me, that will have differences in our personal makeup. Even identical twins do not come with the same traits, the same personality. There are always differences. And so these differences, if we know the difference in humans, the difference in our cultural group and the difference in our religious group, we won't have problem with each other. There won't be problem that will bring about ethnic group, individual uh, different individual problems or religious problem. No. We we'll know how to put things in order. Then we we'll talk about patriotism and philanthropy. What will I contribute? What good can I do to better my country? What good can I do to better my community? What good can I do to better other people's life? What can I do to be uh, seen as a good person or to help others in times of difficulties? That can better our society. Our behavior differs. Your behavior tells good about who you are, about your family, about your country, about your nation, about your community. If you behave where well, people ask where does this person come from, you behave badly and they ask where do you come from, say that's how they behave. You have not brought anything good to your society, rather you have tarnished their image. We don't want to do that, we don't want to tarnish the image of our society, the image of our family, the image of the nation. Wherever we find ourselves, let's behave in a way that shows that we are better citizens. And finally, self-reliance. Are you confident in yourself? Are you a self-reliant person? Or are you trying to contribute to a self-reliant nation? Are you having the support of others to survive? We bring in a lot of things that we are not self-reliant. We import or importable. We become a dumping ground for everything that is good and bad. We want to build a self-reliant nation, and if we want to build a self-reliant nation, we must, be a, we must first of all build a self-reliant individual. We should rely on ourselves, rely on our own um, ability, and do things that shows that, yes, we can be self-reliant with our skill, with our knowledge, with our personality, with our morality, with our norms, with our behavior. So these are some of the things that make a society work better. Next in our class, we'll talk about our friends, about human rights and other things that are involved. Until next time, I'll see you.